Hi guys and welcome to your short and sweet biceps and triceps workout. We're going to start with some bicep curls. So I'm going to grab some eights and let's get going. With about 20, 30 seconds of everything. So <clears throat> when you're doing bicep curls, it really is just going up and down. What you don't want to do is swing the weight. So I often have people take one leg back because that really stops the momentum. You want to leave a little bit of bend at the bottom and you don't really want to like move your elbows. You want to keep them very static. <clears throat> so let's do one more. Now I'm going to have you stand on one leg. Ooh, I'm going to start on my, my left side because that's not my best side. So you're going to do a hammer curl. So I'm keeping the same weight. Usually biceps you can use heavier weights on your biceps. <clears throat> Good. Do one more and then you're going to switch sides. Okay. Plus I'm standing on a mat, so that's not, makes it harder, especially when you have shoes on. Good. So you should feel this. So you've turned your palms in and that's just going to add more forearm. All right, I am going to pick up some fives. And now here comes Milo. Hello, Milo. All right, we're going to do reverse curls. So sometimes I like to go a little bit lighter on these because they're very different. Um, when your arms come up, they are going to flare out to the side naturally. But this really focuses on your tricep, I mean, your your forearms a lot. So you're gonna feel this, if you haven't done this before, you'll probably feel it in your forearms a little bit tomorrow. Good, we just have a few seconds left. And so we're gonna do several bicep exercises and then we're gonna do tricep exercises. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna pick up my eights again. Take a little rest. If you wanna put the weights down, you can. We're gonna do a rotating bicep curl. So this is like a combination between a hammer curl and a regular curl. So you just start with your palms facing in and then you curl the weights up. So again, you can take one foot back if you feel like you're swinging. Have a seat, Milo. He's a good helper. Good, we're almost there. <clears throat> I am gonna use uh, a ball on this one. Good, that was your last one. Okay, I'm gonna get a five, <clears throat> and I'm gonna do a concentration curl. So, you're just putting your elbow against the inside of your leg, and then you're curling the weight up. And what's kind of nice about this one is that you can help yourself, like you can spot yourself a little bit. If you get halfway up and you're like, oh, you, you have that little help. <clears throat> so, as your biceps start to get tired, you know, you might need to go for a lighter weight. Good. I'm going to switch sides. You can also do this sitting on a chair if kneeling isn't working for you. Good. So, doing a bunch of exercises for the same muscle group in a row makes it tough, and we're not resting. So, that's why <clears throat> these short workouts can be pretty intense. So if you need to take a break, be sure that you do. Good, we're almost there. I'm a little guy. He's 19. Good. Let's do one more. And now I'm going to grab the ball. <clears throat> and this is probably going to be one of the harder moves. If you don't have a ball, you can prop one arm against the back of a chair. But this is a preacher curl. So we're going down and up. So I definitely would go lighter on this one because you're at an angle and gravity is not working with you. So you want to just come down, leave a little bit of bend at the bottom, and then come all the way up. So be careful with this one. You don't want to like way hyper extend down here, your elbows. have one more. Good. <clears throat> now I'm gonna 
bit of the ball here. And now I'm just gonna keep these weights just because it's easier. So we're gonna start working on your triceps now, the back of your arms. And we are gonna start with kickbacks. So you're gonna bend forward, abs in, and then you're gonna pull the weights up just like you do if you were doing a row. And then you're just gonna straighten the arms and down. So you just extend. So what you don't wanna do is swing, okay? Make sure your weight is enough that you can lift it, but not so heavy that you have to swing the weight. Then you wanna stop about halfway down, okay? Because this is where the swing comes in, when you come way in. So you just wanna keep it kind of a shorter range of motion, just so you're completely engaging your triceps. One more. All right. Next, we're gonna do um, a tricep extension. You can do this seated or standing. You can do it on a ball or a chair. And I'm just gonna get one weight. Let's see, I'm just gonna grab it. Wow, it just started pulling down range. Okay. <clears throat> You're gonna lift the weight up, sit tall. My, my ball needs air. Um, and then you're just gonna bend your arms back, the weight back behind your head, and then press up. Now this one can take a minute or a few seconds to really kick in. So sometimes you go heavier, but then you get to those last couple reps, and you're like, whoa, really felt that. So, you want to go till you feel like a little bit of stretch in your tricep and then just press straight up. You can also do two lighter weights together if you don't have a heavier weight. All right, I am going to, let's see. So we're gonna move into some dips. I'm just gonna use my bench here. You can use a chair, you can do on the floor. So these are kind of like tricep push-ups a little bit. So what you want to do is your hands are right, like almost under your hips. You come forward and then you just bend your elbows and then press up. Now there are lots of ways you can change this. Fix my glasses. Um, <clears throat> first of all, you only want to go down to about 90 degrees. You don't want to get your shoulders involved here. Um, you want to keep your butt really close to the seat. And you can also make it harder by taking your leg, one leg out, both legs out, keep it light by bringing the feet in. You have lots of options. So, you should be feeling this one. I know I am. Good. Just one more. All right, we have one more exercise. I'm gonna lie down with the kitty cat. And we're gonna do tricep extensions. So I've got five. So you're just gonna come bring your arms down and up. So it's going right next to your ears. Do not hit your face. I say that because I have done that before. Good, make sure your abs are in. We're almost there. Let's just do four more. Three, two, and one. All right, we just worked our arms in about eight, nine minutes. Shake it out. You can stretch out your triceps here. It feels good. Stretch out your biceps. All right, really great job. I will see you soon.